Good morning, Captain John here on this foggy morning. Probably looks familiar for some of my uh, London followers. Double Decker Anton and Driving London. You know us Americans, we always think it's fog in London. Probably isn't. <laughs> uh, but that's what we think, right? So, here we go. Looks familiar for you guys. Uh, anyway, so today we're going to be doing a line run. Uh, the next few days we're going to be talking about line runs. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy this video. Stick around. Here we go. So basically a line run um, means that we do commuter shuttles for different tech companies and casinos. Uh, so usually it starts early in the morning, like this morning we start about 3.45. It's almost uh, 4 o'clock right now. Uh, we're going to leave here about 4.30ish. And uh, we're going to go to Oakland, California and a couple other locations coming back towards Modesto. Uh, this particular uh, run we're doing today is uh, the Gallo Wine Company. And this is the, uh, their uh, bus that we have for them. So this is a bus we own, but we have it decked out with their um, their company information. Gallo Winery. So today I'm actually riding with my, my buddy Beta. Um, he's just kind of showing me. Uh, I know the route, obviously. I've done it before. It's just been over a year. So I'm just riding along with him today so he can kind of show me anything that's changed or anything that's new. And, uh, yeah, that way I can... Um, do these runs uh, in the future uh, so this is one run we're doing so basically what we do is we go to Oakland and like I said a few other places we pick up passengers we bring them back to Modesto drop them off for work kind of like a like a commuter bus uh, and then that's gonna be the end of our morning which with traffic and drive time and all that probably around 9 30 or 10 o'clock this morning uh, and then we have the rest of the afternoon off but then we've got to come back to work later it's like a split shift right we got to come back later in the day around maybe 3 o'clock, 3.30 p.m. to pick up those same passengers to take them home and then drive back to Modesto so we can go home. So it can be quite a long day. Um, line runs are definitely a lot of work and it's a lot of repetitiveness. It's the same route over and over, kind of like Gaywan over at Bus Driver Life. Uh, you're just doing the same routes over and over, um, which, uh, like I said before, is uh, my least favorite thing to do. I like to do something different every day which is why i love charter um but this is still a great um run uh, because you get to be home during the day you're home for a good four or five six hours but if you come back and do the end of your day that's for this particular run now there's gonna be some other ones that we're gonna do later this week that i'll show you um we do a lot of different tech companies like google uh, we do apple uh, so i'm gonna show you some of those later this week and then of course uh the better routes the more coveted co co uh, routes are um the casino runs casino runs are really great because uh, they give you money to play while you're at the casino they give you free pro play as the driver uh, they give you uh, usually give you free food you know comped meals uh, which kind of you know is a perk uh, and plus you get pretty good tips from the passengers especially if they win <laughs> Uh, so we're going to try and show all that to you guys here this week, and uh, yeah, then we'll recap at the end of the video. So, uh, here we go. Definitely uh, light on the traffic since this whole pandemic thing, and still not a lot of people driving yet. Here's uh, Beta showing his driving skills. You're a good driver, Beta. Huh? You're a good driver. Oh. <laughs> One of the best. Just arrived in Oakland. This could be our first pickup location. And we have another pickup out in Livermore. And then we head out to Modesto with our employees of so these tech companies and these larger companies. Uh, doing a really good job with getting these commuter shuttles for their employees. You know, it could take away as many as 50 to 60 vehicles off the road, which really helps out with the traffic here in the Bay Area. And plus, it helps the environment, obviously. So these companies are doing a really good job at uh, caring about the environment and uh, helping the congestion. Uh, the good thing about this company, though, is it's reverse commute. Not that it matters for us, as we have to sit in the traffic going both going one of the ways. But when we take the employees to work, it's reverse commute. So we get them to work actually pretty quick. Um, so that, that's the plus side of it. Uh, one of the downfalls of doing this particular run is you have a pretty big 
downtime in between. It's a split shift. So like I said, we're gonna get back to Modesto around, uh, back to the yard after we drop off of the employees at, at their work site. Uh, it'll probably be around uh, 10 this morning. You know, gotta be back around 3.30 p.m. to pick them up by four to bring them back to Oakland. So the good thing is you're home during that downtime. You're not stuck out somewhere far from home. Um, but then you gotta do that split and come back and work again. Uh, so if you were to do this type of run every single day, you don't get a lot of downtime at night. You know, you go home, you pretty much have time to eat dinner, take a shower, go to bed. You know, you don't get a whole lot of time to yourself at night doing these types of runs. Which for me is why, another reason why it's one of my least favorites to do. Uh, but again, it's just the re repetitiveness of doing the same thing over and over. Uh, which is why, again, I love Charter doing something different every day. Uh, so anyways, we're going to load up our passengers here on this line run and take them to work. So we'll see you there. So we just dropped off our passengers over at the Gallo Winery facility. And we're now back at the yard to drop off the bus. Gonna head home, be back about 4 p.m. tonight and do the reverse commute. So the great thing about that line run is we drop off, then we come home and spend the day at home. Like I said, about 4 p.m., we're back at the yard picking up our passengers a little before 5 p.m., take them back home and then back to Modesto and we're done for the day. Um, today, the next morning, we're gonna be doing something a little different. It is Again, 3.30 in the morning. Uh, we're about to head over to the yard to pick up the bus. Uh, this time we're gonna be doing one of the tech companies. We do several different tech companies such as Google, Facebook, um, Apple, the, those large tech companies that are in Silicon Valley. We, along with several other companies, because they're a very large operation, they have a lot of employees. Again, they care about the environment and the pollution and uh, the congestion out on the roads so uh, they provide these shuttle buses for their employees which is a great program and it's a very great perk if you're working for one of these companies so as a contractors for these companies um, we provide the service to pick up their passengers out here in the valley such as modesto um, i think we come as far as sacramento with some of the companies not my company specifically but some of the other ones uh, we Drive You, I think is one of them, Lux Bus. Uh, there's several other companies that do these runs, not just our company store. Uh, but today we're doing one of those. We're driving the Double Decker, which is awesome. Um, so we can just show you the Double Decker today. So yeah. And here we that. are. The 45 foot, 55 or 60 passenger, I forget which one. Um, but here is our Double Decker, 45 foot Van Hool we'll be driving today. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which tech company I am driving for today. I did tell you which ones we do drive for, uh, but if you're smart, you might be able to tell by the lighting, the ambient lighting on the inside of the bus. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Uh, I'll be riding with my buddy Greg today. He's over there uh, talking to some mechanics. Uh, he's going to be driving this morning, and then tonight I will be driving on the way back. I've given a tour of this bus before. Uh, if you want to go back and look at my motor coach inside of a motor coach bus tour uh three or four videos back um, i show in depth the top and the bottom in here so i'm not gonna do it right now but uh as greg starts driving i will go walk up top so you can kind of see what it looks like while the vehicle's in motion and then tonight i will be driving home with our passengers um dropping everyone off at various locations before we get back here to the modesto yard for the night uh, so the difference with this line run versus the gallo uh, line run we were doing um, we don't come home during our split we have to stay at the campus wherever we're going that's and that's for all the tech companies not just whichever one I'm doing today for any tech company line run we do uh, we have a, a break area over at the um, at the facility so we'll be visiting one today I'll show it to you uh, every um, company has a different break area, obviously, where we park the buses and have different kind of break rooms, that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, oh, Greg's ready. Let's get out of here. All right, so I just want to show you real quick. We're upstairs. This is actually my first time ever on a double decker while it was in operation. The stairs right there that came up on the back. Yeah, my first time actually riding up here while it's moving. I've only been in the bottom. Only been a driver. This is my first time being a passenger. These are the front stairs. And this is the front view. 
bouncy road. We're on one of these uh, back roads in Tracy right now. But uh, yeah, this is 13, I think we're 13.2. So we're almost as tall as um, a semi-truck. So this would probably be the view if you were to be sitting on the roof of a semi-truck. Way up here, this is pretty high. So I can imagine the passenger sitting here in the front window, they might freak out a little when the overpass starts to come at them. <laughs> you can pretty much see it right in front of you. Uh, so definitely a little taller than a normal bus. Anyways, let's go back downstairs. Yeah, this is where we park once we're done dropping our passengers and we have to wait for the day. And then right down this way, there's actually a break room for all the drivers. So like I said, there's about three or four different companies. It's not just my company that do these routes for the tech companies. And for each different tech company, we have a different parking lot, different break room. It's all different set up, different buses. I mean, these buses are only for one company, one tech company. Uh, a whole nother set of buses would be for a completely different tech company, whichever one we'd be driving for for the day. And she got these 100% battery electric buses. Have not driven any of these yet. Uh, these are not owned by our company. These are we drive you and Lux bus. I'm not sure if Loop or whoever does the other one. But yeah, they are coming out with electric buses now. I'm excited to try one one of these days. And that's it for this line run. We're going to do another line run tomorrow. I'm going to show you that one. It's going to be a casino line run. And then we'll wrap up this video. So it's going to be my turn to drive the double decker back today. I'm doing the reverse commute. And uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow morning for the next line run. And we'll of course, then. finally we have our casino line runs. So today we're doing the Great Ten line run, which is here in Roner Park, California. It's actually a nice casino. It's one of the fairly new ones. They have a nice hotel there, and then of course the casino right over there. And as you can see, uh, quite a few buses. Uh, here's mine right here. We've got a couple San Francisco buses. Uh, this is actually a San Francisco bus as well. That's one of our. Uh, that's one of the buses we use for the NFL, and also for our tech companies. Uh, if you remember from a previous video when we did the NFL move, and we got a few other companies out here. It's actually quite busy. Uh, no traffic, which was great. We left Modesto this morning, and uh, yeah, we got here in just under three hours, which is really good, uh, considering how far away this casino is in Rona Park from Modesto. Um, so yeah, great thing about this line run is uh, we're going to go inside, they give us comp food, uh, they give us uh, free play you know, as the driver. Uh, every casino is a little different on how much you get and how it works, um, but for the most part you're going to get some money to play with and also you're going to uh, get some uh, food vouchers. So let's go inside and take a look at All this. Alright, so I found a place to eat with my, my voucher they gave. They have a lot of selections here. They have a lot of nice sit down restaurants. They also have this little food court, kind of like at a mall, which is uh, what I usually prefer to go to. They have everything from Mexican to uh, Italian. They have ice cream. They have a Habit hamburger place. Uh, quite a few selections. There's an Asian place over there. Uh, and of course, right over there is the actual casino, which we will go play our free play in a minute. And this is what we're dealing with. Look at this, my gosh. Looks amazing. This is a meatball calzone. Let's dig in, then go win some money. I didn't win anything. <laughs> I usually never do. Usually when I play my free play, uh, if I do win anything, I usually cash it out and just leave. <laughs> I never usually put any of my uh, own money in there and I usually don't never put my tip money. Sometimes I will, but today I didn't. I kept my tip money and uh, got a nice meal out of it. So I can go back to the bus here and relax until our passengers are done playing. Check out that older Van Wool. We used to have something like that in our fleet. This is one of ours. This is the one I'm driving. Uh, it's more on the older side too, but I think that one's older. I think that one over there might be just a little older though. You can kind of tell. Yep. That's it guys, that's the line runs. 
hopefully uh hopefully I explained it enough to make it clear on what exactly we do for our line runs you know we do several different types and I do all of them I'm pretty versatile when it comes to working for a store because uh, I make myself available to do everything I do line runs I do the charter I do bus test express you know anything that's available I'll do it so that way I'm always available to work always available to do something you know if you limit yourself in any any job uh, you're going to be limited on how many hours you can work things like that so yeah now we're gonna get into our bus here and relax for the day and be done with it got my uh, food to go because I cannot finish all that food and that's it guys that's gonna do it for this episode all about line runs uh, I hope, like I said I hope I explained it enough and made you all understand what it is exactly a line run is and how we do ours here over at store so I appreciate you all for being here I really do appreciate it uh, thanks to all, all my new subscribers for being here welcome and I uh, hope you like the channel and I will see everybody down the road.